Hey you guys, it's me, Emmy. So, different setting today. I am in my kitchen. So, there is a first pointer outer. And second thing is, today's topic is about cutting and how you can prevent yourself from cutting and ways to help with that kind of stuff. Um, I myself have done it. It was last year was the last time I did. Um, and I stopped. Mine, I kind of stopped not really on my own, like, wanting to. It was more relationship. Um, it was either that or my relationship. And I chose my relationship over that, so I stopped through that. Um, I was going through a really, really hard time last year, and that was the way that I turned to handling with it. And it's not a good way at all. It's actually very unsafe. People can die from it, and you can die from it just by hitting the wrong way or anything like that. So don't do it. <laughs> um, I did it for a couple months, and when I had finally, like when I was going to get with this person, like get back with this person, because I had dated them before, um, they had seen them, the cuts. I did them on my upper leg where people couldn't see, like the upper thigh. Um, they saw that and they got really mad, but I guess they cared enough to talk to me and they basically gave me the option of, of stopping that or getting back with them and I chose getting back with them. So it was really hard to stop because it, it's not really an addiction, but like it's more like when you get sad, it's something that you first turn to because it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just that's how it is. It's not necessarily a drug. It's just the first thing that you think of turning to. It's, yeah. So, um, some ways that you can try to not do that is, one, friends. Um, you're feeling really down, call up your friend, Facebook them, whatever you do, and just hang out with them, talk to them, let them know what's going on, and vent to them. It really does work. My friends were there for me through that really hard time last year, and I literally would stay on the phone with them for, like, hours because just having that comfort of knowing somebody really, you know, cared about me through all this crap that was going on, it helped a lot. So friends, number one. Um, number two, I always mention music. Um, I would suggest that, but that doesn't always work. Um I wouldn't necessarily say depressing stuff. I mean, like, sometimes I listen to sad music when I'm sad, just because. It doesn't necessarily make things worse. Some It usually makes me feel a little better because I feel like I'm really not alone. But for some people, it can give the opposite effect and make you want to do that because, yeah. So you might not want to do that. I don't know. It all depends on how you react with that kind of stuff. Everybody's different with this stuff. Like, I... You know, really want to stress. Not everything works. <laughs> so if, say, if the music doesn't work for you, the friends doesn't work for you, don't think that it's impossible to stop or it's you're just m too messed up. It's not like that. Everybody's different. So that's my advice. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.